Whitehall and over to Buckingham Palace. So that's coming up in just a few minutes. And uh, with me to chat about the weekend, and we were all ooing and eyeing over the scene there. <laughs> yeah. Ronnie Corbett, no. Neville Bunton, great to have you with us. Thank, Thank you. you. It's lovely to be here. Last night's concert. Now, I know that you're a concert expert, so last oh. night's concert, what did you make of it? It was incredible. Some amazing stars. Um, I was lucky enough to be at the Golden Jubilee. I performed there. And we were, of course, in the back garden, but this was all taken part in the fact. It was just amazing to watch on telly. But the whole coverage for me has been so wonderful. And also, London has looked so beautiful, even with the rain. <laughs> But this whole backdrop, it's, it's been incredible to watch at home. And I've been to street parties, and I've had my own little party at home, my own barbecue. So I just love the fact that we all come together at this kind of time. Ronnie, I remember yeah. 10 years ago, you were on one of those big floats. That's right. In the past here. That's right, with the famous chef. Um, that's right. I always forget that's his right. name. Yeah, whatever his name is. <laughs> whatever his name yeah. is. That's right. Uh, yes, we came down here on the, on the float, that's right. And I also, because the picnic went on, Behind Buckingham Palace, yes. you remember with the yes. children, and uh, I played the Queen's Butler, so I was actually on the premises and, and walked on the stage with us. So I was quite thrilled. Wow! That, yeah. What have you made of the weekend's events, Ronnie? Have you enjoyed oh, it? Um, unbelievable, really. Wonder wonderful. I mean, uh, so spectacularly lovely, and she and the, the Duke. I mean, showing immense mm. patience and. Certainly on age. Sunday, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Hanging on to it, like you said. Uh, yeah, Emma, just, uh, from, your, from your point of view, we're just about to go back to, to see what's going on in that lunch. Yeah. But you just your thoughts on what's been achieved this weekend. How special has it been? It's been so special. And I think, you know, on Sunday when you were just talking about when she was on the barge, it was so lovely to see her face when she saw special things like the, the war horse on top of National oh, Theatre. Yeah. Her, her face lit up. And I just think it's been an absolutely amazing uh, Your weekend. Majesty, Let's go back to Westminster Hall. Your Royal Highnesses, my Lords, ladies and gentlemen, pray silence for the Lord Speaker, the Right Honourable, the Baroness de Souza. Your Royal Highnesses, my Lords, Ladies and Gentlemen, the Queen. The anthem played by the National Children's Orchestra of Great Britain. The uh, Duke of Cambridge surveying the scene there. And lunch just coming to an end. The formal toast obviously has been made. So within a few minutes, I think we can expect to see the Royal Party preparing to leave Westminster Hall. There'll be a few minutes delay before that happens. And then they'll emerge from the north door, including the Duchess of Cambridge there. And they'll be taking their... Uh, places in that carriage procession to return to Buckingham Palace. Prince of Wales enjoying a chat there with uh, the hosts at his table and all of these hosts are senior members of livery companies in the city who do so much work for charities around the year and lots of the guests are young people who are people who have either benefited from the charitable work that goes on or people who are associated with lots of the work so Queen now is uh, ready to leave Westminster Hall after lunch. The white wand of the Marquis of Chumbly, Lord Great Chamberlain, who's in charge of the royal parts of the Palace of Westminster, principally the Royal Gallery and the robing room at the other end of the palace, but Westminster Hall is under the joint control, if you like, or joint jurisdiction of several officers in the, uh, in the Palace of Westminster.
and other members of the royal family too preparing to leave so some final arrangements to be made there and uh, Ronnie and Emma are still with me looking at this scene and it's it is a splendid scene isn't it just to see the color of it and of course all of it taking place Ronnie within Westminster Hall which is a magnificent building I know I know and everybody knowing their job so well everybody moving at the right time yeah all of it working like clockwork, clockwork yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and what is catered by uh, Eston Rumenthal ah well, I that, think. That, well, the picnic was, wasn't it? Oh, was it the picnic? Well, it was it, the picnic, yes. This is somebody else. I can see people, people yeah. leaving the concert last night really clutch, clutching their picnics <laughs> very, very, very tightly. They did look delicious. They didn't want to let anything go. <laughs> no. yes. We'd see people passing on the street eyeing it rather carefully. <laughs> so I think people will hang on to those baskets for, for a long, long time. <laughs> I mean, Just celebrating this weekend is something that obviously lots of people enjoy doing and yes, lots of people right. taking advantage of the fact that we're on an extended bank holiday, two bank holidays to add on to the weekend. Right. Um, it's at a time when Prince Charles said last night that you know the economy is in a tough state, That's right. lots of people are suffering, lots of people are out of work and yet some but people think that this is a good thing to do to lift cheer people spirits. up. That's, you agree right. with that? That's right, I would agree, yeah. I mean think people cared very, very deeply this weekend, Absolutely. more than they did the last, I think. Yeah. And all. One, of the great, one of the great things I remember about last night was seeing that when we saw the concert, um, was you got a real sense, not just the fireworks and the, the great artists involved, and you know all about it from 2002, yeah. the amount of work that goes into a concert like that. Unbelievable. Oh, it must be astonishing. Uh, astonishing, and all the people that worked so hard, and obviously our wonderful Gary Barlow, who put so much into the show and mm. did email lots of people to come and join the show last night. So it was amazing to watch. And also for me, our real traditions I love. You know, I love the lighting of the beacon last night. It was so important, mm. so special, and um, yeah, it's all been really magnificent, and, and I love all the traditions I love the street parties I love the bunting you know it's all um, it's so well, it's such a big part of it bunting, of, course of course I love the bunting it's a very important part of this <laughs> <laughs> very important part seems like a good moment to say thank you both very much <laughs> thank, you so thank you nice to have you with us yeah, good you. to have your company thank, thank you. you very much now then let's go back to the Palace of Westminster then let's see what